Hi, it's Lori from Dakota Relics. Come join me as I travel around the area searching for treasures that I can buy and then flip for a profit. You'll never know what I find unless you follow me. Come on, let's get shopping. Hi, it's Lori. Today I am in Sioux City. Um, met up with a friend of mine and we are going to the bins right now, but also going to hit some other thrift stores later on today. So come along and let's see what we can find. So here we are at the Goodwill Outlet bins. Not even sure what this is, but I know I don't need any more computer cords in my closet. I have a closet full of computer cords. Probably one of my biggest regrets is coming up here, this Dansk box. I do believe now that they probably were glasses from Dansk and they would have sold really well. I don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes just in the moment you don't choose wisely. I do uh, just, I, you see I don't have gloves on now. I, I have no idea why I didn't put them on. Um, it's kind of dangerous to dig in the bins without gloves. Um, got some floor tiling, a pitcher, um, some bedding, not too interested in that. Another box of dance smoky glasses. Stupid me, should have picked them up. And what do we see next? Oh, a megaphone or a speaker. Fabric. You never know what's going to be in the bins. I do pick up these vintage noisemakers. Um, not that they'll sell well, but I have a collection of others that I'll probably just group together and sell them around New Year's. Um, there's just like so much stuff people get rid of. I, I think maybe we in America have a bit of a spending problem, maybe buy too much thing, too many things. Um, because you, you just can't imagine all of the stuff that is in the bins. Let's see. Of course, we always have the, um, crates. Uh, great place to pick up crates if you want them, I guess. Oh, that little exerciser thing. I actually bought that new at one time for 30 bucks. Never used it. Still don't think it's even out of the box. There was a little ghost, but he wasn't really anything special, so I didn't pick him up. Oh, and here is probably one of my favorite finds from the 1960s, a little hand crocheted pillow doll. You would stick your pajamas inside of it, and then they'd be out of their way, and you could just put it on your bed, and it would look like a pillow. Just it's it's adorable. I love it. Oh, it's a cute little baby doll. Probably not worth much, but you know it's still cute. I don't do much in toys um, unless they're like really vintage toys. I just don't know that much about them. Um, let's see. What are we looking for here? There are a lot of books in the Goodwill bins. Um, if you're looking for books, it'd probably be a great place to go. Um, there's also a lot of naked Barbies, as you'll see in a minute. <laughs> naked Barbies are rampant in the bins. Also a lot of car, um, car oh, Mallory, of the move or out of the move. My daughter is named Mallory. I should have probably picked that book up. Look at that cute little monkey. Still just sifting around. You see I have my gloves on now. Um, Miranda and Justin told me that they were, oh, look at this. This is a hamburger press. And I actually tried to sell one of those. I ended up re-donating it 
um, mine wasn't in as good of condition. So, um, anyways, back to Miranda and Justin, they said they were digging in a bin and it was filled with cigarette butts. You just never know what you're going to find in the bins. My Little Pony. I don't know enough about them, but there are some of those that can sell really well. And of course, they're the older ones. I should probably do a bit more research on them because you see so many My Little Ponies in the bin. You also see like a lot of single shoes. And that's like weird because you would think shoes would be hooked together or whatever. There's a Hallmark uh, singing snowman thing. A very old vintage baby mobile for a crib. Oh, it's like a, almost a milk glass face, but I knew it. Oh, this is like a really kind of ugly, scary doll. She's missing an arm. I thought it was like for putting on your toilet paper rolls, but ended up being she was like on a milk jug. No idea. Not interested. Let's see, what else are we seeing here in the bins? There's a bubble machine. Um, it's a nice picture. I don't think it's old. I don't think it's, you know, really vintage. Ooh, sloth alert. Oh, a springform pan. You, you, th that's a stuff. I mean, like that springform pan was in great condition. If you were to buy it new, it would probably cost you 25 bucks. But at the bins, you could pick it up for 50 cents. But the thing is, <laughs> it, it's not going to be there next week. So you get like one chance at it. Just some little craft candlesticks, nothing to really uh, get too excited about. That was an empty wallet. Now, the thing I have learned from Miranda is that you check that stuff out. She has found money in wallets and she once found a Rolex watch inside of a coat pocket. So um, yeah, I mean, check everything out. This was like a Christmas tree cookie cutter layout thing. I probably should have put it, picked it up. I think it would, may have been from Pampered Chef. An engraving pen. Maybe should have grabbed that too. I didn't. Some of these um, jack-o'-lantern like candy carriers can be worth good money, but they have to be old. And that one was like really in not very good shape. So left that one behind. A ton of CDs. These shoes I thought were Tom's. They turned out to be bongos. They still may have been worth something, but I think I only found one of them. So many children's books. Um, really a great place just to go look around, just to pick up some stuff for your kids. A whole box of false craft. Now, the reason I wouldn't purchase this is A, I wouldn't want to ship it, and B, because you're paying per pound, it's quite expensive. This mug was really cute. Um, I have looked up comps. It probably would have cost me 50 cents at the bins 
and it only sells for about $13. So maybe not so worth it, but these mid-century cups were so pretty. I love the uh, teal inside, the teal glaze inside. Stuffed animals galore in the bins. Oh, there's a microwave. That'd be a little spendy. Just because of the weight. I always look at the mugs. Never know what you're going to find. Oh, right there. It's a pirate's wig, like a Halloween costume. Um, pirate's wig. I don't pick it up, but I don't know. It may have been a good purchase. It had dreadlocks in it. Let's see. I think soon we're going to see a Christmas bell. I don't have good luck selling Christmas bells. Um, I actually don't have good luck selling bells at all. I've only sold one bell the entire time I've been listing. And that was probably only because it was um, kind of a collector's item from the 1930s. Oh, these little ducks. I don't know why I didn't pick them up. They're so cute, and there actually were three of them. I, I should have grabbed them. I think at first when I start grabbing things, I am so afraid that I'm going to get too many things that I, I'm hesitant to actually take everything I like. I did end up pick, picking up this metalist um, or metal artwork. Um... And also, oh, yeah, a rooster made of seashells and the chicken feeder. The rooster made of seashells, sells, um, I'm not going to be able to sell because once I got it home, I noticed it's way too much damage. I did pick up these sun catchers. There's two large ones and two small ones. And the themes are um, chickens and hummingbirds. And I think they're going to do pretty well. This little Portuguese um, reticulated basket is so cute, hand-painted. Didn't cost me much, not going to make much, but it's still, I'm saving it from the trash. I should have picked up this Pyrex bowl. I have a vintage sunbeam mixer that I could have paired with that. No idea why I'm looking at these boots. They're really not the thing I like to resell. Uh, browsing through the bins. Like I said, there are a lot of books. Um, people do use like fancy covered books for decorating, but I'm not going to buy them and sell them as such because it, the shipping, the just, you know, knowing what people want. I just, I'm not real confident in that. Oh, this like little washboard. It's so cute, but, and it's really old, but I'm just, it was so beat up, and I just didn't want to buy it because of that. I think I'd go back to it again in a little bit um, and still decide not to get it.
again, just kind of going through the bins, seeing what's available. Um, I always look at mugs. I have no idea. Oh, and there's that Santa Bell. No luck selling him, so he's going back in the bin. Somebody else can buy him. Need some pillow stuffing? That would have been a lot cheaper. Now that is like a piece that my sister collects, but I know she has enough of it, so I don't pick it up. No idea why I spent so much time on this piece. It would not have brought me any money, even if it was old. It's like a, a single little tray plate. Um, so that goes back. Hopefully somebody else picked it up. Oh, that little bank is from Home Co. Um, didn't think it would probably we resell for much. Some little Here Christmas are angels. Some Christmas angels, but those two I don't think are anything special. Oh, the little pink whale planter adorable i do end up picking this up oh the changing of the bends so every hour this day every hour and a half because they were short staffed um, they bring out they take bins away and then they bring out new bins you have to stand behind a red line and this employee is going to tell everybody when they can take off um, to go search the new, and there's Justin, my nephew, waving. Um, the crowd runs, and you better be prepared because you could suffer a few shoves. So here I am going through the first um, new bend that's been out, and I find the Disney store ties, and I quickly pick as many up and stuck, stuff them in my bag. You can't have a cart for the first 15 minutes. So that's why you need a bag so that you can put your items in your bag and then take it back to the cart. There's my Abraham Lincoln um, pencil sharpener. More and more mugs appear. Um, most probably not worth picking up. There's a Cubs uh, helmet. Do you remember when Dairy Queen gave you a Sunday in those? This little guy picking up Nerf gun parts. He's so excited. He's like rummaging like crazy just to get all of the bullets and the pieces that will fit to the gun. And I am just looking around here. There's a baby jumper. Um, uh, home co owl figurine I already have one of those at home haven't listed it yet so put that one back amazingly he was still in good condition so kind of wrapping it up here um, not seeing a whole lot in the new bins but we still had a great day this ruby cut to clear um, vase, there was miss, it was missing the base of it. I should have maybe still picked it up. There's a food dehydrator and all the parts. Um, you can always test things at the Goodwill outlet bins. They have outlets that you can plug in um, electrical things to make sure they work. Took that pan away just to look at the spice rack, but it wasn't anything special. This little uh, Easter ornaments, um, if it would have been what it said it was on the outside of the box, um, comps were high for this, but it turned out, I think, from what I can tell, it's like homemade ceramics. I'll still probably save it for next Easter, see what it can bring. A lot 
of pieces in there, but like I said, they were all mismatched. Not what it said on the outside box. There is a quilt. Um, quilts can sell really well, but they have to be handmade. This one looked certainly um, machine made and probably just store bought from Target or wherever. It was cute, but it's not going to sell for a lot of money. I'll pick up a handmade quilt any day of the week. This red enamel top of a um, probably a casserole pot, if I could have found the bottom, Oh gosh, I would have taken it in a heartbeat. Hi there, it's Lori. Um, what a fun road trip that one was. I met up with my nephew's um, girlfriend who is also a reseller thrifter. She deals mostly in clothing, both um, name brand clothing and vintage clothing. We spent the day thrifting all day long and it was so much fun. Part of it could be I just haven't been around people for so long that really by the end of the evening, my mouth hurt from talking so much. So I'm gonna just kind of go through some of the highlights that I found at the Goodwill Benz. I'm not gonna show you everything. I think my total purchase for the, the whole day at the Benz was like $27 and I got so many items. We did do a little bit of thrifting at some other thrift stores and um, did find a few things. Uh, not a lot, but I thought the bins, we had a good day at the bins. So let's start out. Um, I got at the bins 15 di vintage Disney store ties. And whoever donated these definitely liked Winnie the Pooh and Tiger. But there's also some Looney Tunes in here. And while they probably don't sell for a lot of money, you know, I probably paid a dollar for all of these ties because you pay, I think it's $1.29 a pound. So I'm going to make, you know, a fair amount of money on these ties. Um, I also picked up a Abraham Lincoln pencil sharpener. <laughs> Not going to make a lot of money, but then again, didn't pay a lot of money. Um, oh gosh, this is probably one of my favorites. It's a little bed pillow doll. Um, when I was a little girl, we had these and then you would put your pajamas inside. So then they would look more like a pillow and lay them on your bed. So your pajamas would be out of the way. So cute. Um, a set of Bavarian salt and pepper shakers. They're really pretty. I don't think they're hand painted. I think this is, well, I could be wrong. I haven't done a lot of research on these items, but I thought they were nice. A wooden shoe, made in Holland. And then I found this homemaker's handbook. I think it's dated 1935. And as I was browsing through it, there's a chapter on how to give a dinner party without any servants. And I figured maybe I should read that chapter because I don't have servants and maybe I'd like to throw a dinner party. Who knows? I also got a box of handkerchiefs still in the box. And these lovely, these are hardboard, I think is what they're called, um, placemats. Really pretty. I think it would look so nice like even out on your um, screened in porch on your tables or in your sunroom i think these are gorgeous and there's four of those i picked up a couple of planters this cute little pink whale one i think he's a he or she is adorable and then another real cute one this little shoe with a bird on its toe I thought that was so cute. It would look great with a succulent in it. This one too, I thought if you could get like a taller succulent, it would kind of look like he was blowing his spout out of his blowhole. These are Lefton and kind of surprised that they survived the bins. Um, 
I did clean these all up. They are already listed. But very nice, like, I think they're bluebirds or blue jays, probably blue jays, uh, wall plaques from the, the 50s. Let's see. I'm sure some of you remember these. They were from Homeco. Uh, what is it dated? 77? But people do buy these to add for uh, fill-ins for wall decorations. And I think I got like about seven of them. So, and I'll probably list those as a lot. Uh, but, oh, this cute little ceramic basket. I believe it is marked Portugal. But I think that's just really pretty for a nice spring decoration. And then I got some sun catchers. Kind of, there's four of them. These are the smaller ones. Uh, hummingbirds and chickens. And then there's two mat, uh, larger matching ones. And those two survived the bends, which is amazing. And, well, next door to the bins is just a regular Goodwill. And we popped in there, and I ended up finding strap-on roller skates from my youth. I fell so many times. So many skin knees happened on these things. But I thought those were kind of cool. I paid $4 for these. And then, um, oh, these little things, oh, yes. Um, these are from the Plymouth Co-op, and they're little, like, it's like bake lights, so they're old, um, little purse sewing kits, and they have, like, the little spools of thread. One of them has a bobbin in it, too. Uh, not a bobbin, a thimble, so... I'm not sure if there's collectors for those or not, but I did pick them up because they cost virtually nothing. And then, do you guys remember Ready Kilowatt? I found an ashtray with Ready Kilowatt on it. We um, played a game, or my mom did, maybe just to keep us busy. We had a freezer, and there was a little red light on it saying that it was on. And she used to tell us to sit there and watch the light because um, Ready Kilowatt would maybe come out of there. Um, and then I actually picked this up for myself. I, I think it's a chicken feeder. I don't really know what it is, but I have a, a backyard fence that I hang, you know, old rusty oddities on it. And I just thought this would look great. So yeah, that kind of wraps up my bin haul. Um, Miranda is, is, uh, my nephew, Justin's girlfriend. And uh, it, she thrifts just like I do. Like, you don't stop to eat. You don't stop to do anything. You just thrift. Justin actually joined us in the afternoon at the bins. And you'll see a video of him. Uh, or you probably saw him in the video prior. Uh, he had never experienced the bins. And I think it was uh, kind of an eye-opening experience for him. I don't think he'll be a regular. But now he knows at least what we're talking about. Um, I'm going to link Miranda's um, stores and her Poshmark site below. Um, check her out. She has amazing tastes, uh, knows what she's doing with clothing. Unlike me, I, I don't know that much about clothes, uh, especially brand name things. I can tell a vintage item, but, uh, but it was a great shopping day and definitely hope that um, we get to do it again soon. But all for now, we'll see you next time.